you know, what other point of defence is there? So we've got to do our little bit that we can to save the world by fucking helping them out. And these people are working really hard, the people that are doing it. So there's forms to fill out. You know, there's all that shit. We can just, like, we've got to do a little bit. But anyway, this is a... I try to do my little bit. This is a song I wrote about Major Oak. It's famous. Well, Major Oak is an ancient tree in the middle of the Sherwood Forest. It's over a thousand years old and it's still got acorns on it. The life expectancy of an oak tree is about 300 years. And that's why Major Oak is so big. So try to cast your minds back to a thousand years ago. A bird drops an acorn into the ground and a tree starts to grow. This was back in the Middle Ages when Canute the Great was king. 700 years before Newton rocked the apple tree. But this tree grew big, this tree grew strong, this tree stood its ground. It was voted England's favourite tree in 2012. And it stands as a symbol of history and patience. No one in their right mind would ever try to hurt it. Right? Well, Ineos Group Limited are a privately owned multinational chemical company based in Switzerland with links to oil and petrol and private equity. Tax avoiding billionaires obsessed with making money. They've polluted a few rivers and produced a lot of plastic. Closed a few pensions to keep the board members happy. And they really fucking love drilling holes into the ground. Surveying for gas and then fracking for shale. Their business and their arrogance obscures their right and wrong they couldn't give a toss what the public want so when you and me see a beautiful tree they get blinded by their greed and if there is money to be made do you think they're gonna let an ancient tree stand in their way is nothing sacred anymore and is this a cause we deem worth fighting for? The world is being plundered by the greedy and dishonest And maybe now in order to save ourselves We need to save Sherwood Forest We're not actually going to frack in the forest, we just want to do a survey we promise we won't touch your precious tree. Yeah, well that sounds like bullshit to me. What do you want to do a fucking survey for? Everybody knows what you're looking for, and everybody knows if the survey says yes, then pretty soon the drilling will commence. They've got targets to meet. They can't see past it. They don't care about the damage that they're doing to the planet. They make 34 billion a year, my friend. They've got yachts to upkeep, neighbors to offend. So when you and me see a beautiful tree, they get blinded by their greed. And if there is money to be made, do you think they're gonna let an ancient tree stand in their way? Is nothing sacred anymore? And is this a cause we deem worth fighting for? The world is being plundered by the greedy and dishonest And maybe now in order to save ourselves We need to save Sherwood Forest I use electricity like everybody does. I've got a fully charged phone and lights in my house. I understand it's got to come from somewhere, but we all know that there's options out there. More wind farms, more solar panels. Look at Sweden, look at Denmark. Living proof that society can survive while being environmentally friendly. But we're stuck here in a carbon bubble with fossil fuels and a chest infection. So let's try and make major oak the tree that breaks the council's back. So come and see the beautiful tree and tell the evil company that we want to save the trees. 